Good morning, my name is Deborah Talley. I am uh, a veteran, and I've come here to the Washington, D.C. VA to something they're supposed to be having for veterans. Um, but once again, it's just, it's just, it's just a, a, a hot mess. Organization, not, 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 no organization. I'm also an advocate for veterans, all veterans. My passion are my combat vets and my other than honorable veterans, which stands for the OTH vets who don't get any benefits once they are released, even though they have served this country, fought on the front line and protect, to protect us. They cannot come here to this event. They're not allowed. They can't come here and get no medical treatment because they're not allowed because of maybe something as so small as fighting or uh, cussing out an officer or, or not showing up on time for formations or whatever. Uh, even though they may have been receiving medical treatment uh, for PTSD while they were in the military, they're discharged without that PTSD rating, which does not get them any services at any VA facility. They get no help. And to add insult to injury, then they go out to the civilian world and then they can't get a job. After fighting for this country, after serving this country, after making sure that we can walk these streets and not have to wear armored vests and carry out weapons and stuff, they get nothing. I've been home uh, since 72 and uh, I've gotten less than exemplary service from the Veterans Administration. I uh, have been met with many obstacles. There, I'm not doing me wrong, there's some very good veterans employees, but the others only treating this as a job. They don't usually take the veterans uh, plight too hard. They say protect and serve. I mean, they say that veterans come first, but it's not that because we are met with obstacles each and every turn. We're met with overpayments that we don't even have. They just, just put it on us. And then we're, we're, we're in hardship because we can't even live. We, uh, like me, I'm homeless. And, and, and I've been homeless since August, and I've been trying to get home, uh, 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 someplace to live since August, and I've been met with obstacles. And, 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 and it's act like they're, they're doing me a favor, when in actuality, I protected them and gave them a place to you know, a, a reason and, and a job. First of all, I'm just pleased with a lot of this stuff that's going on in our country today. I'm like, to me, there's different races of people here, whether it's black, white, blue, or green. When we served in our country, we was all, we had our problems, but at the end of the day, whether you Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, even the Coast Guard, we served together. We put ourselves in harm's way, we did things that other people wouldn't have the courage to do. And then when you get back, Where's the jobs for the veterans? Where's the benefits for the veterans? How come it's taken some veterans 20, 25 years just to get claims approved? Why does it take so long for veterans to get the services they deserve? Veterans aren't looking for handouts, we're looking for hand ups. Because we're the people that serve this country, whether it was your uncle, me, your father, your sister, your mothers, we serve. And you have these politicians saying they care about vets. When, okay, you defeated every bill in the Senate to improve the lives of veterans. And it's sad that you bring in refugees from other countries where you won't even help the people that's in your country that served. They're not looking for welfare, they're not looking for charity, they're looking for respect and dignity because that's what they served with. They forsake their whole lives just to serve a country, and then when they get back, they have no, where, where's the promise? Where's the? Where's our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? I can't have any of that if I can't find a job. If I can't provide for my family, where the hell is my, my liberty? Where's my life, and where's my pursuit of happiness? It's like the Americans saying, look, turn around, don't come over here. If you ain't got money, you ain't shit. And I, and I feel dissatisfied with, excuse me, I feel dissatisfied with how our country has treated veterans. These are men and women that gave their life, that gave their time, that gave their energy to serve a country that doesn't care about them. So what the media says, veterans are being looked after. There are hundreds and hundreds of homeless veterans in this building. Why are we homeless? 
That is ridiculous. The government has money, it's money out there, and it's time to take some money and take care of those who took care of us. Because if it was not for them and people like me, where would we be? We need to come up out of the other countries, trying to mind everybody else's business. Let's take care of home first. Let's take care of those who took care of us and those on the front line, behind the scenes, wherever our veterans are. It's time for us to be taken care of and be taken care of properly. I'm saying that there are things that can be done. We, we need to have a veterans council of ordinary veterans so we can oversee the different programs that, that, uh, that are give uh, that the veterans administration administers for us. Because like we need to weed out the people that are not doing things for the veterans that they're supposed to do. These people do not care about us for real. We need to weed those people out and get decent, hardworking people who have the veterans' interests at heart in those positions. And a lot of those positions can be filled by veterans themselves. And I think that this should be addressed by the director on down. I've written the director, and I haven't gotten a response. I'm trying to find out where these veterans come first come in, because I haven't seen it, and a lot of us haven't seen it. We're, we're, we're suffering out here. We risked our lives for this country. Where's the reciprocation? When are we going to get our chance? We've been living here houses in poverty. We have no business being in poverty. We, we sacrifice our lives for this place. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's frustrating. It's disheartening. And, 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 and we don't feel like we're included. And I think that it's, this is time, this time, this moment right now should be addressed for the veterans. Thank you. What about improving veterans' lives here? What about opening shelters for veterans? What about starting projects for veterans? What about having job fairs that actually hire veterans instead of, oh, apply online? Then when the veterans stepped on their front lines, they didn't do that. They, they, they put their boots on the ground, they did what they had to do to come back. And for the brothers that did come back, God, thank you for your service. And um, I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy with any of them. These are the men and women that deserve health care. These are the men, men and women that deserve housing. Not some tricks and pimps that you call people in the House of Representatives in the Senate. Them the biggest criminals in the United States. Come on, man. Like, even with the drugs and all this stuff, America does stuff in its best interest. America does stuff when it's profitable, not when it's right. You know, so, you know what? I tell you what. Stop talking about improving the lives of veterans and get off your asses and do it. That's all I'm saying. And if you're gonna just if you're gonna just keep running your mouth, you might as well just sit your ass down and shut up. And let people that really care about veterans and the people that really have their best interests at heart do the job. And then once you do that, you can't be a Monday night quarterback. This all this what we deserve? This ain't some cold ass shit shit city ass sand. What the fuck? No coffee! <laughs> fuck no coffee! How you run out of anything? You ain't run out of people to sit on that fucking front line. You ain't run out of people to call to call to war. You ain't run out of people to do shit that need to be done when it came time to fucking What's fight. What's going on? Is John over with us? <laughs> no, it need to be. It's something, so I don't know who organized it, but whoever organized this shit, they should have did a little bit better. Because I think we deserve just a little bit better. But maybe no dignitaries are coming through here. That's why we're getting it like this. But this is how we get it. This is the VA. What you see is what we get. Shit, shit, shit. That's what it is. Shitty shit. And we supposed to be excited, happy, uh, uh, impressed. Impressed about what? No. Take some of that money you giving to these other countries. Take to, to bring our troops yep. back home. Because you're not going to take care of them when they come back. All fucked up, PTSD. You're not going to take care of them. You're just using us. Using us for yourselves. Let us come back home to our families who appreciate us and respect us and deserve us because the country don't deserve us. They don't deserve us.
I wish the hell I would sign, see something to sign anything for the goddamn military. Because we just get chopped and screwed all the way around the board. This is fracking knackle bullshit up in here. But we supposed to be glad, because here you go, hand us little fucking crumbs. I want your fucking crumbs. Why can't they have this bitch up at the hide somewhere? Have us someplace. We out here in a goddamn tent. Get the tent. We, we piled up in the goddamn tent. We got homeless vests. We done had enough of tents and on the streets and shit. Why can't we have a nice little warm place to go get us some nice little coffee and get our rest ourselves and be warm and stuff? <laughs> nah, we out here in this old bullshit. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm not impressed and I am not impressed because they should have did better. Because when they needed somebody on those lines, who the fuck they call? They ain't called Ghostbusters. They call the Army, the Air Force, Navy, Marines. That's who they call. They didn't call you because you ain't signed up. You just want to sit around flat flat and do nothing. We are the ones who served. And nobody had to go looking or calling somebody talking about where somebody at because we need them at the line. When it's time to go, we ready to go. Suited and booted and ready to protect these United States. So just like we protected these United States, these United States need to look out for us. All of us, not some of us. The honorable, the dishonorable, you want to let go some prisoners? Take them and put them on the goddamn line. Let them go fight. They want to fight, sell drugs or whatever, but no. We got, we got veterans, dishonorable discharges, other than honorable discharges, not getting their money because maybe they was fighting in the military. They got into a fist fight or they was, had a, a bar brawl. So they get nothing, nothing, nothing. So it's now time for America to get the real. Ain't nobody taking care of the best like we ought to be taking care of. We ought to be getting golden treatment because we are the best. We are the best and we better than the rest. Not because of who we are, because of what we did. We stepped up to the plate. We stepped up to the plate. Hey, I can share like, come on, I can share this. Hey. Yeah, so yeah. It's time for it's time for America to know. They don't want the truth. They don't want the truth. Because the truth is, the veterans are not being taken care of. They homicidal, suicidal, and they walking in your street and might be your neighbor, but they can't get any help. But their family members called and their mama's calling. They can't get any help because of crap. So it's time to stop fucking around and take care of those who have been there, who are still there, and we still got people that are in here that are out. And if it was a call to duty and they were needed, they'd be right there again. Not because of what we get, but because of what we believe in. And we believe in protecting and serving because we do what we do. So now it's time for somebody to serve us. I'm ready for some service. I want some good service. I'm out here in the goddamn snow. It's cold out here. They got us in the tent. Where's our heat? Where's the heat? Yeah.